Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <coughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes, one man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to see it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupiny well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupiny is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Tupin, you won't be leaving that vault. for Tupini's tomb. Where is Tupini? Please! I have a family! He's in the vault, ogling his priceless paintings!
please, don't harm me. Excuse me. I'll assist you. What would you have me do? I rather fancy a private tour of the vault. Just give me one more reason, and I'll cut you open and show you your insides. Right this way, sir. The records are stored in here. You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as their work. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead.
Christ, the police! We're saved! Arrest them all for robbing the people of England. The Bank of England is closed until further notice. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other? We can have it all. What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again! Understood? You may see yourself out. 